more revelation for my mature sons and daughters, daughter, for those who have ears to hear, for those who have readied their hearts, for those who have given me all and are in full surrender and obedience, I have drawn you into my courtyard, into the gates, where I have given you much insight and revelation as to these times that you live in. I am gathering together a people, my chosen first fruits remnant. You my chosen ones will lead and guide, teach and minister. For as I your great shepherd have taught you, my sheep, so I have taught you to follow my commands and follow my example, and feed my sheep. In this way I have set you as shepherds for my flock, in that you in me, and I in you, will draw many souls to me. As you know, there is order, perfect order to all I do. No one is above the other, all are equal in my sight, you have just been chosen for unique roles and positions within my body. This time of now I am establishing these positions in strategic locations, but know this, that your physical and geographical locations are subject to change. I mean this to tell you that spirit flows with spirit. When you are pure spirit with me, you are free to move and go wherever spirit would lead you. Always be open to the leading of my spirit. You are my kings and my priests, and it is given unto you to have dominion over regions. Humility is the key and then obedience. Always remember that in this task of coming to me and confirming those that are being sent, where there is no peace, it is not of me. There is always order in my heavenly council and so it shall be among you, my elders and my council in this place. Always be open to the leading of my Holy Spirit. Just as in my heavenly courts, all things must be presented to my team of elders. So, too, Shall you operate in this manner, those of you who have already been positioned and selected to oversee what has been established in these sanctuaries. You will come together as one body in me, under the command of your one captain to confirm those that are still yet to come. I will make a way for those coming when it seems there is no way, and in this you will know that it is me. I will take the lowliest and the meekest of all and use them powerfully to lead others. I will always confirm that which is of me. Be ready as I am moving you into these positions now. Understand this mystery, when I said in my word that you would do these things and more, what I am speaking of is a glorified life, yet still here in the flesh. In order to attain the maturity of a true, mature son or daughter, these ones are the ones who understand that the day at Calvary, when I spoke that it was finished, and the victory won meant that you too can live that glorified life here and now. Everything that was attained that day belongs to you now, and always has. It was done that day. My mature sons and daughters have now awakened to this reality. This is what you walk in. This is who you are. A glorified body, a glorified church, we are spirit, we are limitless. We have complete authority over heaven and earth, in the flesh and out of it. It is your spirit, our spirit, that governs these vehicles that you reside in. Wake up to this reality, you are not bound by physical limitations. You were freed that day. When I rose from that grave, I showed all men for all time, you are not bound, as the grave could not hold me, it will not hold you. Amen and sing hallelujah, for you and your husband will not die physical deaths. The day was finally come when all that has been foretold in my word will come true. All that you have read about these last days is upon you. You are the last generation and you will see my return. I have told you this before, so rejoice that the mysteries of the prophets of the past are now being revealed. Everything that I spoke when I spoke with Daniel and with John, it is meant for you now. All of the secrets of my kingdom you will know, and all of heaven rejoices that the culmination of all things is here. I will tell you something about this mystery of time. When you speak of it vaporizing, it truly is and this is why. As heaven meets earth and my first fruits are rising, all that is in this physical reality is being compressed. You are filled to overflowing with spirit, more and more each day. You are less and less mortal in your members, in these tabernacles. This has always been the case but you are now understanding this to be your reality. So, naturally, if I am outside the limitations of time, are you not also? So as your spirits are awakening to who you really are, and I mean who you really are in me, do you see how this notion of time is melting away? 
it only exists on this plane. It has to be so, but only for this dimension. This is how I have purposed it and created it to be, but not so in my kingdom. Therefore you have now been given understanding of another mystery of my kingdom. In that you are rising and being brought outside of time. It matters not any more, for you are always in this moment of now with me. I will continue to lift you higher and higher in your understanding, deeper revelation, just continue to come. Ask, seek, knock, the door is always open. I will never stop teaching you and counseling and guiding you, pouring my wisdom into you for you have asked and as it has been asked, so it shall be given. Yeshua Saturday, December 31, 2022 Watch expectantly and see what I will do. O oh my daughter, and all my beautiful ones, I am here. I am closer than your next breath. I know your hearts and the desire you have to seek me with everything you have. Although the suffering is great for all of you that are close to me, and evil increases exponentially, I have instructed you that you are to suffer well, for it is in this suffering that you have learned obedience, that your faith has been increased, and that you set the example here of what it means to walk the crucified life, yet display the glorified life as I did when I walked to this earth. Nothing you can suffer here compares to the suffering I endured. My love knows no bounds, therefore, yours does not either. A servant's heart is what I have taught you, even in the midst of your suffering, especially in the midst of your suffering. For you see, I have strategically placed those around you in various relationships, whether they be family members, co-workers, acquaintances that need to see you suffer well, because it will be the only way they see me. The opportunities for those who have not made a commitment to me come to a close, as I remove my hand of protection and grace from the earth. At this point, those who have lived by the law will be judged by the law. A greater refining fire is upon you, for those who need more training and for those who have not heeded the call I have placed upon their hearts and lives to be my disciples. Although many of them are still mine, there is a separation now for those who are not living according to my word. There will be no excuses for them as you have been the example I have given them of what it looks like to live in holiness, righteousness, and obedience, even while suffering. Those such as yourselves that have learned my ways and accepted my will for your lives have my understanding that in the suffering I allow while incarnated here, you grow in great intimacy and maturity in me. It is here in this place of humility, contriteness and brokenness that I pour out my spirit and counsel you in my ways, giving you the understanding, wisdom, revelation and knowledge of the kingdom that otherwise cannot be attained. To suffer as I did brings great joy to you who understand the deeper meaning of why you have come here and the great purpose you have in furthering my kingdom and giving me glory. I have taught you from my word that living in the spirit is contrary to living in the flesh, and therefore, you must continue to be extremely circumspect that you only speak life, and that your thoughts align with mine. The mind is the battlefield, and most operate from the mind, but my children know that to overcome you must be in alignment with my word, and abide in my heart, so the fleshly man is put under the submission and obedience of the spirit at all times. In this way, you will speak my words. My thoughts will be your thoughts and your responses will be in humility and love to each situation you encounter. I speak to you this way from deep within, and in this way, others will only encounter me. In these final moments my remnant, before all changes and I pour out my spirit and my strength upon you, continue to love and be loved. Continue to pray relentlessly for the lost. I hear every utterance of your hearts. Your prayers avail much in my kingdom. Never underestimate how powerful they are when you walk in me. Rejoice, as I am coming quickly and my reward is with me, to give according to your works. Be about my father's business above all else. Remain completely committed to that which I have purposed and called for you to do, not allowing idolatry of any kind to hinder you from my will and direction for you in this late hour. If I have called you to leave family, employment places of residence and there has been hesitancy, pray for the courage and resolve to do as you have been instructed now. Put nothing before my call on your life. As I have spoken previously, your positioning is critical, and I will make a way where there appears to be none. Remember, 
if you are not completely aligned with me and my will for you, not only will your course be altered, but so will all those who you are in relationship with be altered as well. Paradigms shift and frequencies are increased or lowered as my people either respond or hesitate to my instructions. Do not get in the way of what I am trying to do in those closest to you. Release them to me. Only I can penetrate their hearts and bring them to a place of brokenness. Fear is not of me, discouragement and despair are not of me. Nothing is to come before me not your family, your work, your living situation, your finances, your ministry. Those who have placed these things before me will not advance now as I come to pour out my spirit according to my word in this season. Be ready in every moment now. Be hopeful and be encouraged as all things come to pass. You have nothing to fear when you are in me, with me, living through me, and I have surrounded you with my angelic realm to assist you in all you have been called to do. All of my promises to you are coming true. Watch expectantly and see what I will do. Yoshua the